Managing construction schedules. Managing construction schedules, the most important weekly meeting by Sean Van Dyke. Managing construction schedules is as much about disseminating information to your employees as it is communicating the progress of your construction projects to your customers. Communicating the construction schedule occurs organically between the construction business owner or the project manager and the customer through the day-to-day -day correspondence on site or through digital means. But the whirlwind of the day-to-day -day activities and resulting changes creates a bottleneck that stifles many construction business owners. The profitability of a construction project is directly proportional to its effectiveness at projecting, maintaining, and managing its construction schedules. The better you are at managing a schedule, the more profitable your construction company will be. The more you struggle with managing your schedule, the less efficient you will be. Lower efficiency leads to lower productivity, and lower productivity leads to lower profitability. In this article on VineHomeBuilding.com, I discuss a three-step process for establishing and maintaining a weekly scheduling meeting. Three Steps to Managing Construction Schedules Use the three-step process listed below to establish a system for managing your construction schedules, train your employees within the company to respond to changes in the schedule, and delegate the decision-making duties to those employees that can most effectively drive the day-to-day -day operations and production activities. Step 1. Set a day and time for the schedule meeting. Establishing a frequency of reviewing, updating, and projecting the schedule is the first step in creating a sustainable and effective scheduling process. Work happens in a weekly cycle. Leverage this fact by committing to meet with your team on a weekly basis. Select a day and time that works best for your company. For example, Mondays can prove to be a pretty tough time to plan your schedule. You know, the phone starts ringing with all the emergencies from the previous week, and our customers expect to see boots on the ground first thing Monday morning. And Fridays can be tough because whatever has happened during the week has happened, and there is little time to make adjustments before the crews clock out for the weekend. In my experience, Wednesday mornings are a good time to gather the management team together to meet and discuss the schedule. Wednesdays work pretty great because you'll be able to look back at the previous week's goals and determine if you're on course to meet those goals. If adjustments need to be made, then you still have Thursday and Friday to adjust the rudder. Setting a day and time for the scheduling meeting accomplishes the following three things for your team. Number one, it creates a habitual flow of information on a consistent basis. Number two, it communicates expectations to your team. And number three, it enables your employees to prepare ahead of time for the meeting. Step number two, set a time limit. The reason most people hate meetings is because they don't accomplish anything and they're viewed as a waste of time. If you set a time limit for your weekly schedule meeting, then you create accountability. Everyone will be motivated by achieving the goal of completing the meeting within the established time frame. I recommend setting a time limit of 15 to 30 minutes for your weekly schedule meeting. Now this will be difficult at first, but you will get better at it the more you practice. The best way to hit the time limit is to focus on scheduling items only, meaning assigning resources to projects. Items involving customer or company issues should be tabled until after the conclusion of the weekly schedule meeting and only involve those team members that are required to solve those issues. Setting a time limit for the weekly schedule meeting accomplishes three things for your team. Number one, it creates focus for the scheduling issues. Number two, it maximizes the efficiency of the decision making amongst the team. And number three, it trains other employees how to prepare for and execute the meeting. Step number three, review the schedule weekly. Once you've determined the day and time for the meeting, number one, and set a time limit for the meeting, number two, you're ready to conduct the weekly schedule meeting, number three. Now let's assume that your weekly schedule meetings are on Wednesdays and check out the blog post for a graphic showing you a really good agenda for a Wednesday weekly schedule meeting. Here's an example of the weekly schedule meeting agenda. Number one, look back at the beginning of the current week and assess if there are changes that need to be incorporated or communicated into the current week. Number two, Adjust the goals for the remainder of the current week. Number three, set the schedule for the next week, the next Monday through Friday, by assigning resources. 
you know, the people, materials, subs, production goals, etc. Assuming that the goals for the current week are met. Number four, look ahead to the following weeks and project out what is known and or possible. And number five, repeat this agenda each week on the established day. Construction business owners work extremely hard to sell the work their companies perform. Sales lead to proposals. Proposals lead to work. Work needs to be scheduled. And schedules change. All these business activities produce information that must be communicated to your team. The best way to communicate the project information to your team is through a weekly schedule meeting. Your people want to perform at their best, but they are starving for information. Feed them the information they need every week with a consistent and effective scheduling meeting. Need help streamlining your construction business? Sign up today to receive a free copy of the Paperwork Punch List, 28 Days to Streamline Your Construction Business. And this book is available exclusively for free at seanvandyke.com slash the paperwork punch list. That's seanvandyke.com, S-H-A-W-N-V-A-N-D-Y-K-E dot com slash the paperwork punch list. Hey, Sean Van Dyke here. I just wanted to thank you so much for taking time out of your day to listen to this audio post. Email me any questions or comments you might have at my email address, which is connect at seanvandyke.com. That's C-O-N-N-E-C-T at seanvandyke.com. And let me know what you think. Thanks so much. <laughs>